Okay, Year 7. Today we're going to be having a look at polygons. What you need to do is open up your theory book now. You have a heading written in red pen, polygons, and you read to write out the definition that is on this slide now, at the moment. It says, a polygon is any closed shape with three or more sides, each of which is a straight line. If the polygon has all sides and angles equal, it is a regular polygon. If not, it is irregular. So guys, we've had a look so far at triangles. We've had a look so far at quadrilaterals. And now we're going to look at polygons. So you may have got from this definition that triangles and quadrilaterals both classify as polygons because they are a closed shape. So when we say closed, it means there's no openings. They're not like an arc or a semicircle. They're a closed shape with three or more sides. So if it has three or four more sides, each of which is a straight line, it's counted as a polygon. Now, if all the sides and the angles are equal, it's regular. If not, it's called an irregular polygon. So you need to have written down that definition. And now we're going to have a look at a few common polygons. Okay, Year 7, you now need to write naming polygons as a subheading. This isn't a main topic heading, this is a subheading. You can write it in the same colour and maybe just underline it. Underneath that subheading, you are to write the following definition. Polygons are named according to the number of sides or angles in the shape. So, that's how we identify different polygons based on the number of sides or, sh or angles in the actual shape. And depending on the size or angles, we call them different things. Now, we've got five examples here below. Two of them you should already recognise. The triangle, which has three sides, and this other shape, which has four sides, which we call a quadrilateral. There's three new ones that we haven't gone through yet, but some of you may recognise them from primary school. What you need to do is you need to write each and every one of these down and draw the example. So you draw a diagram of a triangle. You label it triangle and you write somewhere near it or underneath it three sides, just like I have done. You do the same for hexagon, quadrilateral, octagon and pentagon. So the pentagon is named the pentagon because it has five sides, the octagon the octagon because it has eight, and the hexagon the hexagon because it has six sides. These are just five different types of polygons, guys. So polygons, any shape with three or more sides that's closed. If the size of the sorry, if the sides and the angles are equal, it's said to be a regular polygon. If they're not equal, it's an irregular polygon. Once you've finished writing the definitions and drawing the pictures in your book, you're then to go on with the exercises.